Hi, my name's Tony and I'm with Power Driven Diesel and today we're going to talk about AFC Live. We get a lot of calls from people wondering about our, how our AFC Live works. Today we're going to talk a little bit about how it works, what it does, and why you should have one. AFC Live is an in-cab fuel tuner developed for P-pump trucks. How it works is it's connected in line between the engine, which is the boost source, and the AFC, which controls your boost fueling. The valving inside the AFC Live tuner allows you to modulate the air signal to achieve smoke control, EGT control, and control your overall horsepower level. So now, let's take a look at the in-cab portion of AFC Live. I have my AFC Live mounted to the top of my dash. On this side, you can see the knob labeled power. This controls the total amount of air pressure available to the AFC. This will set your power level. Think of this essentially as an infinitely adjustable fuel plate. The smaller black knob here controls the fuel rate. What that does is allow you to adjust how fast the boost signal comes in. Don't be confused by this gauge. A lot of people think this is a boost gauge, but in fact it's showing you the modulated AFC reference signal after it's passed all the other valving in the controller. Up front here you'll notice a toggle switch. What that does is it allows you to bypass all of this valving up here and receive an unmodulated signal between the engine and the AFC. So today we're going to walk through tuning on my truck. This is a 95 Dodge Ram with a 160 pump. It has 5x14 power driven injectors, a K27 turbo, and stock delivery valves. It's also equipped with a 6-speed manual transmission. So the first thing we're going to do is demonstrate smoke control in a city driving environment. Now for this test, I have the power knob set all the way up, so all the change we're seeing is just from the fuel rate adjustment. Yeah, that's way too, way too much smoke. That's not going to work. So if you notice, the smoke started occurring in the mid-range. So what we're going to do is we're going to turn the fuel rate knob down. You'll notice there was no smoke that time, but it was a little lethargic, so we're going to give it some mid-range back by adjusting the fuel rate. Still a little lazy. Let's try a little more. Now that one had just a little bit of haze, which is personally where I like it. Your taste may vary. Uh, we'll try this. Now that was getting a little bit past haze and back into what I would call smoke, so we'll back it down just a hair. So the other problem with where we had the fuel initially set, just with the AFC, was that it there was too much smoke on the top end, which is what the power knob is about. So we'll dial the, dial the power knob back just a little bit. Yeah, and you can see there, it cleans up pretty good on the top end now. So once it's all the way up on a boost, it's running a little too clean and it doesn't have very good power. So I'll turn it up just a hair. Yeah, so that looks pretty good. So now we're going to demonstrate EGT control on the highway. So first we're going to see what the EGTs look like at full fuel. And I pegged my 1500 degree gauge, so at least 1500. So that last run was a little toasty, so I'll just dial down the power knob a little bit and see if we can get the EGTs down to 1200. 
So now we've got the max, the max fuel setting at 15 PSI is all it's allowed to see. Wow, still 1500. So now we're down to seven PSI. About 1100 degrees is all it had in it. So we'll turn it back up a little bit, little bit and see if we can get to our target of 1200. Now the AFC is seeing 10 pounds of boost. And it looks like 1250 is all she had. So if we wanted to get it down back to a more stock 900 degrees, now it's seeing about five pounds, 850 degrees. So as our road test shows, AFC Live gives you ultimate fueling control. Thanks for watching. If you like this video, subscribe to our channel, give us a thumbs up, we appreciate it.